What goes into winning a championship? Some say skill. Some say teamwork. Some simply say luck. All would be correct. More than all these could be dedication. This is very much the case for the top-level team working at Vermont Sports Car. This is home base for the Subaru Rally Team USA and the Subaru Puma Rallycross Team. The day their season finished in 2012 was the day preparation for 2013 began. At the end of the year last year, I basically said to the guys, uh, the first day of 2013 is tomorrow. If there is a team that knows what goes into winning a championship, this would be it. Subaru's 2012 Rally America Championship victory marked their second in a row, and their sixth in seven years. Subaru is in rallying because rallying is deeply rooted in their brand. You know, they happen to make a car with fantastic all-wheel drive and it's tough and durable. And that's what got them into the sport. That's why they aren't a NASCAR, you know, it's because their product excels at a certain sport. That sport is rally. Rallycross, on the other hand, is relatively new for the team. Competing against established rallycross teams from Europe, the learning curve has been steep. New venues, new race format, new rules, new cars. Since our start in rallycross, we've been catching up. We're, we're in rallycross. Uh, this is a pretty extreme form of racing. Going through some uh, growing pains, you could say. We cannot stop on a jump, ever. These are race cars, and in the other sports, it's body parts. Our future looks very bright, but it's been a difficult road so far. We're getting closer. We've come a long way, but it's not been easy. This is the story of two teams. Four. Two similar, yet very different disciplines. Three. Built on the passion and drive of the WRX STI platform. Great. This is everything it takes to win. Two. This is everything that gets in the way of winning. One. Go, go, go. This is Launch Control. It's just after New Year's and deep into the rally off-season. But to Subaru Rally Team USA driver David Higgins, it's simply 44 days after his last rally. Yeah, rallying, it's a way of life for our family. They, my grandparents did it, my grandparents, brothers, um, their kids have done it. They've all been involved at, at some point. Well, I met David in um, a pub. One of the first questions he asked me what I liked to do, and I said I liked rallying, not knowing at all that he'd just started out in a rallying career. That would be about 19 years ago now. 325,000. That's how many miles David accrued in the air last year enough to span the globe 13 times. Aware of the rigorous travel that lies ahead in the coming rally season, David enjoys these months banking time with family. You know, when he's home, he is just dad, and he just gets on with it and mucks in doing the picnic lunches, helping with the rally school and things like that. You know, it's a real eye-opener when we came over to America to go to the X Games and sort of seeing exactly what goes on, and they're just exceptionally, exceptionally proud of their daddy. In constant contact with the engineers in his development role, David sits with co-driver Craig Drew to review onboard footage from the past season. I noticed on a lot of this in car though, it's because it's so inconsistent with grip, like a lot of the notes, like I was reading the next straight and corner, you don't need it, so I think I'll judge it a lot better this year. I love the element of the unknown really, driving on different conditions, driving at night, um, the two day events or three day events and sort of the adventure of it. And you think to yourself, oh, I could have gone quicker there, but you can't, can you? No. It's so difficult to get, to get seat time in, in the competition cars because they're so expensive to run, they're, they're high maintenance and the first thing I always say is get out on a car. You see where you lose time as well. If you slide wide on the car, you see three people pass you. You slide wide on the car on a rally stage. It's like forgotten about. With David, we've had a, a great test program along with the racing program. If you told David, you know, we've built a car, it needs to go 10 miles, and you have one shot to be the quickest in the world, there's no practice. He's one of the guys you would choose. But when I find myself not karting for, for a long period, I find I get a little bit too flamboyant. 
where when I go back to the cart, it brings me back to being a little bit more efficient. Race drivers attack, attack, attack. A test driver needs to do the same thing 100 times in a row. You know, we've made the car go much faster, we've made the car turn much faster. When you start getting more grip and more speed again, you're then pushing on something else. I think there's more speed there, he thinks there's more speed there. We've got a few changes to go with the car, and I think we're going to have a competitive year. Hello, mate. Enjoy that. A few crashes. Inside a nondescript building in Colchester, Vermont, some of the best engineers, fabricators and technicians are hard at work preparing the next evolution of Subaru Rally and Rallycross cars. I would think if we have five cars, four of them were bare steel body shells. Every one goes through a, a very labor intensive rebuild and development plan. What we have focused on are requests from David and Craig to make the car more user friendly, moving things around the car, changing positions of switches and um, equipment in the car so they can access it better. From the military precision of the logistics department, the craftsmanship of the fabricators, and the drive for performance from the engineers, this team is passionate about the sport. We live rally. I don't want to say it's easy for us, but it's, it's what we do on a normal basis. While the rally car is nearly complete, the rally cross cars are in the midst of a full teardown and redevelopment process. Within the sport of rallycross, there's a, an element of performance and there's an element of luck. The less performance you have, the more luck that you need. The more performance that you have, the less luck that you need. And part of that is increasing the reliability and then increasing the outright pace of the car. Winning is trying to do the best at every stage. It starts with the planning the year before. Every piece has to be pushing the limit to do the job the best. That's how you win. With the official departure of the team only a few days away, the new look livery is applied to the number 75 Subaru WRX STI rally car. This is the final step before the car is loaded in the truck and the teams depart. Riding with it are an entire team's hopes for another championship. In Wales, David says goodbye to his family again. Bags packed and waiting, ready for the airport. The Subaru team members will all tell you that they are ready, but what they won't tell you, ready, is far from a sure thing. Round one of the Rally America Championship brings a blank slate. Snow, new competitors, and adversity at every corner. When David Higgins and Craig Drew join their car and their team in Michigan, their mission will be clear, even if the path to their third championship won't be. Next time, the team arrives in Michigan for round one of the Rally America Championship. I love the challenge of it, but I hate every second of it. That's next time on Launch Control.